All right, everyone, this is Ross, and I got a special treat for you guys. I'm looking at a really, really high-quality ripened fig here in Pennsylvania. We're just barely in August, and you can see that this is Suwati that has somewhat dried on the tree. You can see it shriveling up. I can, I can feel it. Um, it's a really, really striking fig. It's blue. Um, it's more purple, but there's blue uh, tones in there. And it's just a really incredible fig that I could probably let it go a little longer, but my brother's here today, and I want him to taste this. So we're going to get him and myself a little taste test of this fig. Let's see what's up. All right, everyone. So this is my brother Rob. How's everybody doing? And Rob, before we cut this thing open here, I want to ask you a couple questions. One, where do figs stand in your favorite fruits? You know, where, where are they? Is it number five? Is it number ten? Where would um, it be? Figs uh, are new to me. Um, just recently, I've gotten into figs, and figs are definitely up there in my top. Five, uh, probably number one being uh, maybe a tie between these peaches that Ross has been growing and these strawberries. The strawberries blew my mind. Okay. Um, on their sweetness. You're not just saying that. I'm not just saying that. Figs. Th th these. I've only gotten to try a few figs, and right. You know. So Rob hasn't really been exposed too much to really high quality figs I I think I gave you a couple of Zor's dark one year but this is this is uh, without a doubt I mean I could tell just by looking at it this is the highest quality fig I've ever ripened uh, so it's just been we've gotten a lot of rain here but there's been a lot of heat and I think because this is an earlier variety it's been able to actually get a really high bricks Rob so the bricks is really equivalent to the sugar content in here but here, cut that open for me. We'll get a picture of the inside. It, it honestly feels like, guys, it feels like a fig that is ripened in a really dry, warm place. Uh-oh. That's not a bad interior, but not the interior color that I was expecting. What color would you say that is, Rob? That looks more of um, an orange or amber. Maybe maybe an amber. Yeah, it's to me it looks very orange actually. It's very strange, right? Yeah, normally uh, I would see it a little bit darker than this. Uh, I don't know. It depends on some varieties. Sometimes I've seen a little bit lighter. Right. So the figs I've really orange. the figs I've given Rob have been Azores dark for the most part, which is a darker interior, which leads to a darker, more intense berry flavor. So this one here, uh, we're gonna try. Go ahead, Rob, take one. But this one historically doesn't have as intense of a, as as tense of a flavor. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Certainly, very very sweet. Wow. I don't know about you, but I bit into that and I got crystals of sugar in that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely a little bit, you can actually, you get a little crunch to it. And it's not, you know, it's not the exterior that I'm crunching. It, it could, eh, it's not the seeds. The seeds are a little, a little bit softer. It's just like a little, it's not really like a crunch, you know. No, it was like a very light speck of something in there that to me had a little bit of crunch but it, it, fe it felt like sugar like I was eating sugar yeah super sweet um, almost almost jelly you know not, jelly yeah not not a lot of uh, liquid to it you know it's, it's definitely a little bit more soft yeah um, 
You know, I'm, I'm, I'm new to figs, but... How was the flavor? Did you describe anything? Is it Does it relate to anything? Can you it, it, tell people that don't know what it tastes like? Can you say, it's? does it have a peach flavor? You know, does it have, like... No, it's very distinct. It's, it's very, it's... You know, not to say, not to keep on, you know, the honey train, but really, yeah, there it is honey. It is breaking down and turning into sucrose and fructose, and it's just crystallizing inside there. Uh, now, I didn't see much honey around the eye. There, there wasn't honey leaking out of the eye, but there no. is honey inside. It, yeah. There is this, these layers of, yeah. of just crystallization of these sugars, and, yeah. and that's essentially what honey is. It's it's just delicious. It's super sweet, super natural. You just get a burst of flavors that are just so distinct. It, it's it's different from from its you know like a honey that you purchase at the store. It's it's fig honey. It's it's fruit. It's fruit honey. It's delicious. There was a little bit of honey in there that I got to eat, but I also got more sugar. Like it was actually like crystallized sugar, and I don't know why that is. I've never tasted that before, but maybe is because it was somewhat dried on the tree. Now, after eating that fig. Where do figs place in your top five now? Does this beat anything? I would, still, I would still say it's a second. I haven't had enough figs, really. You know, if I had them, if I, had, if I you know, had a bag of figs and I just went, you know, I was able to snack on them. Yeah. You know, I, I would, I would absolutely, pro yeah, they'd be number one. But it's to the point where they're a bit scarce. I, I feel like. I can't just go to the store and buy such a you know such a delicious fig like this. You know you really have to grow these things. Mm -hmm. um, where I can you know I can come over this this uh, garden here and just pick a bunch of sweet, really super sweet strawberries. Like the sweetness is extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, this this is great. Um, you know, little strawberry for fig. I'd obviously go with the fig every time. But uh, it's you know what is my favorite fruit to snack on, you know, eh, I would still keep it a second, you know, they just don't come in the quantity that, uh, that I'm looking for. Gotcha. All right, well, that's, I, I'm satisfied. Yeah, I hope definitely. you're satisfied. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, I want to thank Rob for joining us. Uh, he's here, randomly here, so figured, fig is ready, might as well get his opinion on it and see what he thinks, and uh, if you like this one, give me a thumbs up subscribe and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter now so same name as this channel at Ross Ratty and I uh, hope to see you all again all right take care